You know, it's funny how quickly things can change because only a few short years ago, I would have told you I probably could use a few more USB-C to C cables. I could probably use some more power bricks that were USB-C power delivery enabled. Jump ahead to now and I have entirely too many of really all of these things, USB-A to C cables included. I have so many bricks so many charging cables, it is absolutely ridiculous. And unfortunately, as this has occurred, I have sort of mixed together good charging bricks with bad, good cables with bad cables, and it's not all that easy to quickly determine which are which. Now, of course, with the bricks, you can look at them and you can read the information and kind of determine how fast these things are actually meant to charge, but who knows? Some of them are old. Maybe they've degraded in some way. Maybe you just don't want to have to read that stuff. And with the cables, it's really hard to know which are the good cables and which are the bad ones because USB-C cables are not all created equal. Some of them can charge at 60 watts. Some of them can charge at 100 watts. But by looking at them, you don't really know. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at a product, this thing here by a company called Pluggable. I think I actually reviewed a USB-C hub from them a couple of years ago. This is the Pluggable USB-C power meter. And it is pretty simple, right? You plug this thing in and you plug your cable into that. You have power running through it, and it's going to tell you exactly what is going through this little dongle. It's going to tell you exactly what your brick is capable of and what your cable is also therefore capable of. It is $29.95. I just got mine in the mail just about four days ago. And what I've done with it is I have sorted through my cables. I sat down and I grabbed a device that could receive more than 60 watts of charging. That is an important factor because if the device you're charging can only receive 40 watts, you're not going to be able to see if the cable is capable of 60 or 100, and you're also going to need a charging brick that can do more than 60 watts. Maybe I'll drop some affiliate links down below to some really good Ugreen chargers that I was using uh, to do this testing. And I went through them one at a time, plugging them in and seeing what the readout was. And by doing this, I was able to identify several cables in my little box of cables that I can part ways with. I need to declutter, and these are the ones... I can get rid of and not really care because they are inferior to the other ones that I am keeping. I actually found one cable that didn't do anything at all. It read nothing going through it. So it absolutely is going to get uh, tossed into the garbage in that case. Perhaps the other ones I can gift to other people that don't need more than 60 watts of charge and it will be beneficial to them. But for me, I don't need those cables in my life. And with the bricks, same way, I actually had some like really cheap charging bricks from some uh, maybe slightly lower end Chinese manufacturers that did not really have a readout on what they should be outputting at all. Well, I was able to test that as well with this dongle and again, determine if I needed to keep this thing or not. Another potential use for this is monitoring the charging speed of your mobile device because devices like the Pixel Fold, for instance, might get a little bit warm, thermally throttle, and might not charge at full speed, but you might not know exactly how fast it's charging. There are apps that will kind of tell you, but I really like using hardware like this to really truly see how fast is my device actually charging? There are just a ton of really interesting, for the nerdier of us, interesting uses for pieces of hardware like this. And of course, in the past, I've shown you a cable that has a little screen on it that can do something very similar. Great to test your devices that are receiving the charge. Also great to test out your bricks. But of course, you can't test your cables because that is a cable. So this is sort of an interesting one-stop shop to test all of this stuff and see exactly what's happening on all of your charging associated devices. You could even, in theory, plug it into your computer. Maybe there's a C port on your computer and you charge things through it and you're wondering, how much power is this delivering from my PC to my headphones or something like that? Well, again, you can determine that right here. And a really cool touch, there's a button on it that actually will switch the orientation of the screen so that if you're on a different side of the device, you can still read the thing more accurately, more easily, maybe it would be a better way to say that. So guys, pretty cool piece of hardware. I will say that it's not the most you know premium feeling thing. It doesn't feel super duper durable. Like if I were to drop it or something, it might take a little bit of damage. It's very light feeling. So maybe it would survive that fall. But again, it doesn't feel like super premium, but we're talking about $30. It's not 
super crazy expensive. So I think overall, it's a pretty decent buy. It can handle current flow in either direction. As you can see, there's actually an arrow that will show that. It shows the amperage, the volts, and the wattage. It can go up to 240 watts, which is a whole heck of a lot. So if you want to check this thing out, there will be an affiliate link in the description down below. If you purchase anything after clicking that link, it will help support the channel. So thanks for that. I'll also drop a link to those USB-C cables that have the screen built in. Maybe you want to go that route. Links to that will also be down below as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.